Hi, it's Paula from Fancy Life That Reese. I was asked to do a short video on the centers that I do that are kind of glittery and all. Um, it was a follower that was on YouTube and she wanted to know, you know, how I do it. But it's extremely simple and very economical. So what I did is this is a four and a half inch half styrofoam ball. Um, that's the one that I used in the pink and white daisy chain wreath. This one is about two and a half inches um, wide if you had a smaller um, wreath that you wanted to use. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you on the four and a half inch. If you go from here all the way across the middle of the top down at seven inches, so you would start with seven inches. What I do is I start from the middle and what I've got here and what I've used is very simple. They are the um, jewel borders that you can get at Dollar Tree, at your local Dollar Tree. And they're obviously a dollar 25 each. I've got quite a few, um, but it is one of the simplest ways to make a center, especially for a flower type wreath. So I'm going to show you how it's going to be a quick video because I probably won't even need to finish it once I show you how I do it. It's so very simple. So I'm gonna, I already had used this one on a one and I think it'll be enough to go across. So I'm going to go across and you just take, try to get to the middle. And I leave a little overlap so that I can put it underneath like this. And then just try to get it as straight as you can because you're gonna be following that. Now, a lot of mine, I would do pink or blue, pink, blue, pink, blue. So um, you do have to have a little more straight one, especially if it's another color. So see, I just, and it's sticky. You don't have to do anything, no glue nothing it's super easy now what i do afterwards is i do seal it with mod podge and this one is just the um, gloss you can just kind of brush it over the top let it dry and that way you know if one of them comes loose you've got it it's sealed so a little less likely to do that or you can use this spray on mod podge ultra it's got the um, glue and sealer in one just Take it outside somewhere where there's, you know, you've got ventilation and just spray it on and let it dry and there you go. It's that simple. So I'll do a couple more of these uh, stripes just to give you a, a better idea. I'm gonna bring my scissors in here. Um, why is that? We craft and then we don't have our scissors with us. Makes no sense. So what you do is you just kind of Try to match it up. It's not gonna be perfect. Now you can also paint this styrofoam, but remember, um, I think like um, Rust-Oleum paint and all, it will just eat this styrofoam right up. Believe me, I learned from experience. Um, so you have to get a paint that will take to styrofoam. Uh, maybe even paint it on, I think, with acrylics. I don't think acrylic would um, eat it up as easily, but you'd have to test that first. But see how easy that is? And once you get it all on, it looks like one piece. It doesn't look like you've like done each strip separately, but I found it to be one of the easiest things to get a kind of a glitter top, a little, you know, a little pizzazz to your center um, without buying the very expensive tops or centers that you can buy online, but this works just as well. It's not gonna cost you just about, I don't know, let's see if it's one, you know, probably four or five dollars total. Um, I get the styrofoam in a pack of, I think it's six, um, and then they last forever. You know, I mean, as far as, I, I just don't think that you could damage this, and if you, make sure that you spray it with a sealer. It's probably not gonna come off um, other than with way old age, I would think. So I'll try another one. 
and once in a while you'll see that these little dots do come off. Just don't use that part, and I'll put this one, that part underneath anyway. And you can see you might overlap a little bit here and there, which will make it a little not quite as flat, but once you seal it, it just it's it's perfect. There's just no there's no beating a simple kind of center like this, especially for your flower wreaths that you can do on flower boards or wireframe. It's just there's no end to it. Now the only thing I have uh, to say is I wish that um, Dollar Tree had other colors. They've got the blue. I think I've got pink. They've got the pink. And then they've got the, I don't know if you want to call it silver, silver and white with the white kind of pearl looking objects in the metal. Um, I would love if they would get, and then the gold, of course, um, or yellow gold. I would love if they could get other colors, but you know, it is the Dollar Tree. You're getting it, you know, at a, such a deal anyway. But look how that looks. That, I mean, once it's all on, you can you cannot tell that it wasn't made like that or that you purchased it. But this will help a lot of wreath, wreathers that are just getting started. Um, our company is not very old. We're still trying to get a customer base. So I appreciate any followers or subscribers on our YouTube, Instagram, uh, Facebook, TikTok, um, and any likes, anything that you like or anything you want me to, to try to make, I'd be happy to do. Um, my partner is my sister, Vicki, and we she does um, some wreath making at her place and I do the wreath making here. I've got a lot of area for storage. Um, she does not, so pretty much all the storage is, is here. Um, I've got extra rooms and then the garage and, and all. So, so anyway, um, if you would like to see other videos, but this is, this is basically, this is basically it. Now I'll just go ahead and finish this and I'll use it on another wreath, you know, another flower wreath. Um, I don't know that I've used just straight gold. Now I'm kind of overlapping. I would generally cut right here around some of the beads so that I'm not wasting. Um, this is for demonstration only. And um, I wouldn't be wasting so much. But like I said, they're only $1.25 at the Dollar Tree, but well worth the price. I thought they kind of looked, honestly, when I bought them, I thought, oh, they kind of look a little chintzy or cheap. But when you do this and you put it in the middle of a TV, it, it looks great. Um, or I think it looks great. So I hope that I have helped some of you um, see how easy this is and how economical it is. When you're making wreaths, when you're first starting out, you just can't um, afford you know, to get all of the expensive items that the more seasoned wreathers um, do. Um, get and buy and purchase and put on their, their wreaths. Um, so making a center like this, you cannot beat it. And remember to seal it, um, you don't have to necessarily seal it, but I just, it's kind of a backup safety for, you know, what if one of these came up, I don't know, but the Mod Podge is great. Or the spray, like I said, that has a sealer um, and the glue in it, great. So, so anyway, I hope that this helped and um, I hope that the, I think her name was Joan on YouTube. She requested that I, um, she wanted me to slow down the video. Um, but unfortunately, I was just doing the, the um, I think it's the fast theme. And yeah, yeah, people can't see exactly what you're doing, but the end result is what I was, sh you know, attempting to show. But like I told a couple of uh, followers on YouTube, I, I go, you know, we're not used to doing the um, videos yet. And matter of fact, my sister Vicki, she's like, ooh, she just so doesn't want to do it. But I can do it. I just don't, I, I prefer not to. But I think that's just, you know, as we age, we don't feel that we look, you know, as good. But I should be proud of, you know, aging because I'm here at least. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. 
and see how easy it is I can be talking and doing it at the same time. It is really, really simple. So if any of you do this, I'll put it on my YouTube channel. It's Fancy Like That Reese, uh, Fancy Like That Reese um, on YouTube. And I'd love to see you guys, you know, attempt to try it. Um, thank you so much. And you guys have a great day. Hi, it's Paula from Fancy Like That Reese. Um, I'm back. I just wanted to finish off the um, center with the, the little jewels that I um, showed you earlier, the jeweled borders. And um, you can't tell that there's stripes, um, that they're done one at a time. And then this is the bottom, although I probably wouldn't have all of this. I would have cut it off shorter. Um, I forgot to bring my scissors out from the first round. Um, but I also thought, well, you know what? I didn't show you how I put it in whatever wreath I'm going to be using um, this as a center. So you can either use the mounts, which have sticky, you pull off the sticky and then you put them here. You can put the, then you use Chanel stems or pipe cleaners, whatever you call them, thread it through back and then that's how you're going to attach it. But here today I'm going to use the pipe cleaners. I'm going to glue them on. You got to be careful because you know glue will melt this, but you want it to melt a little bit just to get this to attach. And then I'm going to put felt over the top of it because that just gives it another layer of security. So I just bend it in half. And I got the yellow just so you could hopefully see it, but um, I'm not sure if you can or not. So I just kind of make one little flat place at the bottom. And it really doesn't matter too much where you put it. And the um, glue does set up pretty quick, so you don't have to sit here and hold it too long. And then to put some glue on the back of this felt piece. Be careful. I should have my finger protectors on so I don't burn the heck out of my... And then put it across the area that you've used against the back of the uh, center or the styrofoam. And this will hold it much better. Same with the other side. It doesn't have to be perfect because all this is going to be for is to feed it through the center of whatever you're making. Um, you're, you, it'll either be a flower board, which they have holes in them, so you'll have to locate the holes once you turn it upside down. Or if you have a wire base, I usually put a cut, um, a cut of canvas, and I. Uh, zip tie it to the inner ring and then I've got mini holes that I can use to pull it down and then turn it over and, and twist it and it's very tight. It does not come loose. gluing the back of the felt. And right to the net through the middle. And there you go. That was my husband. 
all that ruckus was the dogs getting all excited. Crazy. <laughs> I'm on. So there you go. And then you just feed these through the center of your wreath and tie them down from the back. And there's your centerpiece. Very economical and it looks pretty good. Once it's done, it looks all glittery and glossy and glam. So I hope this helped, uh, especially you, Joan. I know you were interested in the video, so um, hopefully that helps. If you have any other questions, feel free to send me a message on YouTube or any, any of the other social medias. We're under Fancy Like That Reese on all of them. So thank you again, and I appreciate you watching.